So we're here in my office digesting the results of Budget 2018 and it's been a really good day for TSA. There's a, there's a lot of serious good news coming into our area in the form of £14 million burn of direct investment to unlock two new metals projects. Yeah, so uh, one of the things that the Chancellor didn't say in his speech but was in the budget, it's in the document so you can go and read it on page 66 of the budget, it's £14 million for the South Seas Development Corporation to unlock the first of the many sites that we're going to unlock, which will lead to the creation of more than 1,500 jobs just on that one site alone. So it just shows the backing that the Treasury and the Government are giving to our master plan to rejuvenate South Tees Development Corporation. And those projects will start in 2019? Uh, that is the plan. They'll certainly start as soon as possible. And on top of that, we've also got the £16.5 million mm. pounds Transforming Cities money, which comes to the Tees Valley to invest in our transport infrastructure. On top of the £59 million pounds we've already had that goes towards other projects like yeah. uh, Middlesbrough Station. And that complements the 20 million, is it, that we've pledged for that? Yes, so uh, we've already pledged uh, 20 million pounds to Middlesbrough Station. That's something I know you've lobbied me hard on and we were able to put that towards funding the redevelopment of Middlesbrough Station as well as the 25 million pounds mm -hmm. towards Darlington Station as well. But the big rabbit out the hat, as the Chancellor would say, for uh, the Tees Valley was turning the South Tees Development Corporation into a special economic area, which I believe, and it's something I've been working on for many months, will be the first step towards freeport status in the Tees Valley beyond our relationship once we leave the European Union. I think what really that demonstrates is that Teesside really is now at the front of the queue when it comes to securing this status. It's the first time it's been awarded in the UK. Absolutely. It is a huge opportunity for us to flesh that out and really make sure that as we leave the you know, EU that we do demonstrate that there are direct benefits for our region. So another great, uh, another great uh, budget for the Tees Valley. Thanks for all your help, Simon, oh, on cool. the Special Economic Area in the South Tees Development Corporation. Upwards and onwards.